Ah, tea. One of my favorite things in the world. Camellia sinensis. The second most consumed beverage in the world, second only to water. Tea comes in many varieties, brands, and presentations, but that is a story for another video. First, I want to take you back to where it all started. Chinese legend tells us that tea was first discovered by a Chinese emperor when some leaves from a wild tree floated down into his pot of boiling water. The emperor is said to have felt refreshed and invigorated after drinking this infusion. He also rightly thought that it tasted awesome. So he set out to discover the properties of this plant. So, this legend tells us, the first cup of tea was a happy accident. A legend out of India tells us that Prince Bodhidharma, an Indian saint and the founder of the Japanese Zen school of Buddhism, was to thank for this amazing concoction. To prove the principles of Zen, Bodhi set out to meditate for nine years in a row. However, toward the end of his meditation, Bodhi fell asleep. So distraught was he by his failure that he cut off his eyelids and cast them away. A plant sprung up where his eyelids hit the ground to honor his sacrifice. If this one is true, thanks Bodhi. While it is thought that tea was originally used for medicinal purposes, its popularity as a casual drink took hold during the Tang Dynasty, which has been called the classic age of tea in China. Poetry, art, and other expressions about tea abounded for hundreds of years in China before tea found its way to Japan. Tea was introduced to Japan around the 9th century CE by a Buddhist monk named Saicho. Tea culture in Japan and China spawned their own tea ceremonies and customs, and I'll cover that in another video. Though there is evidence of the West being exposed to tea earlier, tea was first imported in bulk to Europe around the 17th century. It was around this time that tea started to take hold in England, which Western audiences probably most associate tea with. England was a coffee nation before it was a tea nation. In fact, it was the women of England who first took to tea as it was viewed as more refined than coffee. The first known shop to sell tea in England surfaced in 1657 and was run by a man named Thomas Garraway. Bless you, Tommy boy. Soon after, the famous and infamous East India Company established a foothold on the tea trade when it established a factory in Macau. China remained the sole exporter of tea to the West, and this was a relationship that the East India Company defended fiercely. That is until a British army officer stumbled upon some tea bushes growing wild in India that this all changed. After this, the East India Company established numerous tea plantations in India, especially in the Assam and Dajarling regions. This marked the end of China's monopoly on the tea export and marked the beginning of a flourishing tea industry in India. Tea first came to North America in the 1600s, when the Dutch established a colony in the area that is now New York. Tea was popular with women and wealthy colonists, and once this area and the remaining colonies came under the control of England, they became an important consumer of tea for the East India Company. The East India Company, struggling to maintain itself despite a failing financial situation, convinced the English Parliament to enact the Tea Act, which led to the formations of revolution as the colonists whispered against taxation without representation. This led to the famous Boston Tea Party and the eventual American Revolution. Eventually, English tea merchants rebelled against the East India Company, and the stranglehold that they had on the tea market was vanquished. Tea consumers in the United States today overwhelmingly prefer to drink their tea cold. This invention was brought about during the World's Fair in St. Louis in 1908. A tea merchant and plantation owner hoped to win over new consumers of his assorted hot teas. However, due to it being unusually hot that day, his wares proved unpopular with the crowds. This clever merchant asked a neighboring ice cream vendor for some ice, and from this, the American infatuation with iced tea was born. Obviously, there is much I left out of this brief explanation of my favorite beverage, and there is much more of the story to tell. But don't worry, my obsession with tea will no doubt lead me to go deeper into this tale in future videos. I would like to thank Mighty Leaf Twinings and Wikipedia as they proved to be invaluable resources into my research for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Please leave me a comment letting me know what you think and suggestions for future videos. And as always, thank you for watching.